The Regan Streep Institute says the number of positive cases among people 19 and younger has quadrupled in the last month. Well, now local contact tracers have asked the health department to alleviate some of their caseload so they can actually focus on children. Fox 59's Courtney Crown has more on their recommendations. School is back in session and fields are full of young athletes all mingling together again. As anticipated, experts say kids coming back together has caused the number of positive COVID cases in those ages 0 to 19 to climb. We're seeing that among the those who are potentially the least vaccinated at this point, which makes sense. Contact tracers at IUPUI's Fairbanks School of Public Health have noticed some changes in their jobs as they speak with parents concerned about their children. There are new questions about when can my kid go back to school? What kind of activities do they stay in? You know, identifying the close contacts. Kids are around lots of other kids. Unlike adults, young children cannot isolate themselves from their whole family. So parents and caregivers are at risk. Someone has to take care of him. And that close contact is it's pretty difficult to stop the transmission. Another reason for all parents to go ahead and get vaccinated now. The Regan Street Institute tracks COVID-19 data across the state. It says the number of positive cases in children 0 to 19 quadrupled from July to August, August to September. The hospitalizations doubled from 69 to 160. We need to be vigilant. We don't have the vaccination for that entire age group. If your child is a close contact of someone with a positive COVID-19 case, doctors say to get them tested. That's absolutely no, no question. If, and again, this is where decision making needs to be done with the guidance of health care providers. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Our reports Pfizer could be applying soon for that age group. We'll keep you posted.